Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We said we had something big coming. It's enough to make you go vegan. We said we had something big coming. We've got here the brand new, first in the UK, 2022 Can Am Maverick XRS X3 Turbo RR with Smart Shocks. Phil, roll the cinematics. Canam Maverick XRS Turbo RR with Smart Shocks. Just want to thank Jay and Ian at London Speed for getting it to us before registration. It's a struggle because we can't drive it yet, but thanks for that anyway. Yeah, we just thought we'd do the reveal video so we can give the viewers something to look at. Obviously, the second this bad boy's got number plates on it, things are going to get a whole lot more interesting. So, just for now, we'll give you a little walk around the vehicle and go through some specs. Well, we'll start off with the engine. It's a Rotax engine, three cylinder, 200 brake horsepower. Suspension, Fox all the way around. We're not sure on the travel yet, but- 24 it's, inches. Is it 24 inches, Phil? Yeah. It's obviously a lot. We've got Maxxis Carnivore, 32 inch tires on all four corners. That basically enables you, it's the first year they've done this. So if you get a flat, obviously your spare is gonna work on any of the corners because when the tyres are offset, it's a bit awkward if you've got to start carrying two spares, which isn't it, which is just not practical, basically. So then we'll, we'll come around the front here, have a look at this at the front. Inside here, obviously, massive suspension again. Got your front differential in there. The front end on this is stunning. Absolutely stunning, isn't it, Phil? Yeah, it's nice. It looks like the Batmobile. Come round here, I'll bring it round here, we'll have a look inside the cockpit from this side. It's absolutely stacks of room in here. It's like sitting in a car. The whole chassis of this for 2022 has also been increased in strength by 30%. That obviously includes the roll cage. You know, if you flip this over and you've got your harness on, you're gonna be safe. Then if we come down here to the radius rods, these are obviously a lot more chunky than they used to be. And then where it goes into here, in the back of the hub, they've double sheared it, so for extra strength. Right, this has got the full road legal kit on. Yeah, believe it or not, you can legally drive this on the road and we're gonna be. Here's your indicators, bit beastly I know, but they do the job. It's got the fender kit on it, 
We call them arches in this country. Again, it's an MOT requirement. You have to have arch. You have to have the arch covering the wheel. Doesn't really do that, but there you go. Got your mirrors. Obviously, so you can see behind you. It's got a horn. Not very manly for the vehicle, but it'll do. Come round here. Obviously, you've got your LED front lights with your front indicators. This was another optional extra, the half screen. It's more like an eighth screen, but it looks nice, really. I think that's about all it's there for, is to look good. Just pop the door open. Just have a look inside. I mean, these seats are real high quality. It doesn't even feel agricultural like the older vehicles. I mean, it's like sitting in a car, some sort of a, well, it's better than a car, let's be honest. These harnesses, retractable harnesses, don't think I've ever even seen that before. They just complement the seats really well. Lovely steering wheel, small. Obviously, it's got power steering, so that's why they've been able to put that wheel so small. And then you've got your digital display here, which we'll go through in a moment when we switch it on. Show you how good these harnesses are. Jump in. Right, these are hands down the easiest, most easiest harnesses I've ever used in my life. Being retractable is a real bonus. Just click that in there. Click that in there. Got your steering, got your steering wheel adjustment here, Phil, if you want to bring that in. Down here, pull that lever then adjust that to your required height. It's not retractable, unfortunately. That'd be nice. Maybe something they'll do on newer models. But the seat's fully adjustable, so that's fine. Right, let's get this beast started. Not for this chitter chatter. Listen to that, what a monster. So, bring that camera in, Phil, I'll just turn it off. Just inside the cockpit here, you've got your adjustment for your suspension, which is your trail active and your trail here. You've got your sport and your comfort. Is that for the suspension as well, Phil? Yeah, so that's that's suspension, the first one. So you've got comfort, sport and sport plus, which will adjust the stiffness of the shocks and the rebound on the fly. Your trial and trial active. So trial's your normal mode. Trial active will adjust whether the front diff lock comes in and what power goes to what wheels when you're on the fly. Unbelievable. Um, then you've got your two wheel drive standard setting four-wheel drive yeah and then four-wheel drive with front diff, diff lock for climbing rocks do they still advise with this one that you have it in rear when you're on the road yes should always be in rear, yeah, yeah so whenever you're on the road they advise is that to save the front diff yeah so it's to do with the yeah, prop yeah. yeah so when you're on the road you always have it in rear that's what they recommend anyway so that's what we'll be doing that wraps it up for this one thanks for watching we've got some accessories for this so keep an eye out for the install videos don't forget to like and subscribe catch us on the next one enjoyed them couple of rips then man these things are beast can't wait to get it out in the open just want to say nice one to roy dragged him out of bed six o'clock sunday morning for the drone footage nice one mate much appreciated catch us on the next one filthy animals <laughs> <laughs>